Despite a drop in malaria prevalence rate from 11% to 8%, 70% of Kenyans are still at a risk of contracting malaria. According to the latest Kenya Malaria Indicator Survey, malaria still accounts to 18% of all outpatients visits to health facilities. But the future looks bright for the country after it was selected among those to be included in a pilot program to test a malaria vaccine. Kenya is amongst the three counties together with Ghana and Malawi that have been selected for the piloting of the malaria vaccine. The activities are scheduled to start later this year. Head of Partnership and Intergovernmental Departments, Dr. Patrick Goth, saying the country will receive 10 experts from Cuba in the next three months as the country strives to build up its capacity in fight against malaria. The government is currently in talks with the Cuban government on the implementation of vector control through laviciding in Kenya. What laviciding entails is using biolavicides, you know, insecticides that are sprayed on those breeding sites. And uh, when you spray over that, you now kill the larvae and pupae before it grows into adult mosquito. The experts who will be working closely with medical officers in the country will be deployed in eight endemic lake region areas as to implement Laviciding, a vector control mechanism in combating malaria in the Lake region that will cost the country half a billion shillings. Meanwhile, Health Cabinet Secretary Cecil Kariuki has directed the management of NHIF to introduce e procurement services. Kariuki warning that those who engage in malpractices will face the law. I have directed the board proper, transparent guidelines be developed and be communicated to the institutions so that starting from the lead time and dealing with issues of discretion from the individual managers are dealt with. That cases of malpractice, including corruption, will not be entertained. Speaking during the unveiling of the new NHF chairperson, Hannah Murithi, Kariki directed the new board to prioritize the realization of universal health coverage, which is the main agenda for the ministry. Linus Moshigadi for Channel 1 News.